The issue that I had was that I couldn't eat or drink anything. And I had a lot of acid indigestion. My stomach was very swollen up and I couldn't sleep at night. We went to the hospital and they said that she had colitis and they ran tests on her and they decided that they needed to cut out some of her colon. She didn't want to do that. We went for a second opinion. One of the doctors called me outside and told me she was very sick and she was very fragile and it was best just to leave her alone. I didn't have any strength anymore. I was on IVs all the time. I couldn't think right. At that point, I said, no, just let me go. Her family doctor, he's the one that recommended for her to see Dr. Francisco Rodriguez. He was very confident with the procedure that he was willing to do. He was trying to go a route that was not some serious operation. The procedure that my mom and I decided to go with was the vascular bypass. Carmen came in with a long time history of pain in her stomach. She had had what was found to be lack of blood flow to her large intestine. Uh, she'd been in and out of the hospital, had anemia from all this, and when we found out what the problem was, she had vascular disease, which is blockage of the blood flow to her intestines. Normally, you would have had to been opened to have a bypass to the artery. Luckily, in her case, we were able to fix it with a stent. Minimally invasive, you may be in the hospital for 24 to 48 hours. If you have it done open, you're usually in the hospital five to six days and you have a lot longer time of recovery and pain. In an older population, it's a lot nicer to do the minimally evasive because they don't recover as easily. It was good. In other words, right away I started eating. I was in bed rest maybe two or three days. After a week, I was cooking. Everything was fine, you know, and I felt great. Francisco Rodriguez is truly our guardian angel. Because of him, he gave my mom and my family more time so that we could spend with her and enjoy her longer.